side control is a very hard position to control, the regular side control. So I always want to, when I control someone, I want to be either diagonally hip shoulder on this side, head outside so he cannot catch it between his legs, yeah. or on the other side, more like in a leg drag. So you try to get your hip out, you know, please. It's stuck here. And on the other side, try to get your hip out here. He's really stuck. Whereas we're in the middle, he can kind of fight both sides. He can get his knee inside, or he can get his leg out on that side, and he can spin. So very hard to control. So, to explore both. So actually, the way you have to see passing instead of doing the illusion of the middle, which just gives you points with no control, is if to start from lower body control, see? And whenever you have the, the good control here, he brings his head inside, see? So to control the head, and can use the over as a bridge, where I have all my dark chokes and, uh, and, uh, and everything else, yeah? So what I'm gonna try to do now, look, is you're gonna start in the middle, and if you first from here, if you cannot pass the guard from there, you will never pass this guard. I'm gonna keep my neck straight. Whenever my head is down, push it down to me, so I'm weaker. So fix my structure, get my hands together, start to go up. When I go up, don't push him, just keep him tight. You can put more strength by stretching your both arms. See, in this case, if I want to make my left arm stronger, I have to start walking towards my left side, I pivot, and then I'm gonna support with my knee, my elbow. And from here, I can rotate inside. The exact same position in the previous video, where you end up after the 50-50 the duck under. Yeah? The only difference is the arm will be low, but otherwise same mechanics. So you walk up, control his head with your inside, with your outside knee, and I keep this, this pressure. So now from here, what can happen? Your room can sort of turn to his belly here, so in which case you can do the same drag and go to the back. The back, please, yeah. Or you can sort of turn to his belly. Yeah. Sorry, when I, when I'm, sorry, go back, back inside please, and I'm gonna go here. You can turn to the, to the other side and into the back, in which case you can block his elbow, this can lead into a dars, or without the arm, it can lead into a, well, into a dars without an arm or, or a guillotine. It's pre pretty much the same, the same thing. Yeah. And then finally, so on this side, whenever Jeroen's head is further away from me and he starts to either turn to his belly or his back, does it turn to his belly? See here, and his head is far away. I have to, if I insist to keep, keep going, please. If I insist too much, I will completely expose myself and I might have the chance to get reversed. So here, if I feel it's getting too tight, see, I'm gonna abandon the head, see, go to the knee and try to get both legs control here. Yeah. There's a variation with this knee on top and a variation with the other leg on, on uh, like in, in front, like this. But it depends on how he defends. So when I'm here, See, if he skips, starts to go away with his head, see, I will start to spin away as well, keep pressure. You can potentially pass to this side, but usually they will bring their, their head back inside. And this gives me again, after a grip fight, the option to get the, to get the cradle and cross the bridge again. And finally, it's the exact same thing. You're up. If he starts to get his head away this time, but he starts to turn to his back, he starts to recover his guard. Then you have to make sure that your outside hand, keep it in please, blocks the knee here. And then I go for the same leg wrap and be on top. Always important to keep your head. As long as your head is in the crevasse of his hip, push it away, please. Yeah. He cannot really stop it. If, it's, if he manages to make distance, he will get the knee out way harder to pass. So once here, he's a perfect area to explore your guard. He turns to his back, he starts to recover his guard. Yeah. And I wrote it in. So I have to go in and play the mermaid pass. And he goes to his belly again. He pass backwards, keep up the pressure. Eventually, he can go all the way here. They usually come back before that, come back in. The biggest mistake you can make is go too soon for the head or allow Jeroen to get his Kimura, in which case everything goes to, to, to waste. <laughs> okay, that's it, thank you.